level. So you guys, when you see her, make sure you give her a high five because that's what love would do. And now, without further ado, this is one of the founders of Stop Asian Hate. He started it, but I would be remiss not to call Manny, the community curator, to come up here. Where you, what are you doing? Why are you standing there? Really? You shy now? Really? I've seen you do marches. Come on, Come on Manny. So Manny, you can, you can give me a rest. And you can introduce for me your co-partner in crime. Or maybe not crime. Ryan. How's it going? So my name is Manny. Um, um, I'm going to introduce Ryan, who is our 18-year-old prodigy. Um, and, you know, just, just a little backstory. Me and Ryan met uh, really through Instagram. And so don't underestimate the power of social media. We literally just connected and he was the first one to really post about the Boston Stop Asian Hate rally. And we literally did this like two months ago. So um, I'm excited to hear him speak. He's a powerful voice and you know, he's a very strong and bright individual. So give it up for Ryan Nguyen. Before I say anything, just a disclaimer, if my face is puffed up, it's because I just had wisdom teeth surgery. <laughs> but I am so overjoyed to be here, and I'm so appreciative of every single one of you. For the past 30 days, AAPI Heritage Month, we have been pleading our case to the jury of public opinion, and we are gathered here today at this rally to make our final argument so thank you to every one of you for joining us in that. Now, to be clear, this day is not an end to our movement. Rather, it is the start of a launch of solidarity against anti-Asian hate. We want to pass the baton on to future generations and keep it going. So just like Lily over there, what she's doing is amazing and we want to pave the way for young people like her to have a voice and make change. Now I have a few words I prepared and I'd love to share them. Oh, I didn't even introduce myself. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ryan Don Nguyen. I just turned 19 actually and about to start my first year of college. I'm <laughs> And I'm one of the co-chairs of this event. I want to talk about the importance of loving and honoring the unique places that we come from. Because these attacks against our community are an attempt to erase what we are. And what we are is Asian, is American, is beautiful. So although I was born in Boston, my mom and dad and practically everyone in my family are refugees both people from the Vietnam War. And growing up, I did feel that pressure to hide that fact, to be cool, to fit in. I actually wrote a poem my freshman year of high school that I'd like to share about taking pride in being the child of refugees. I don't think it can be Lily's poem though. This poem is titled, Nothing Less Than Heroic. They say I am only a four-year-old, a refugee, but my parents said, we are nothing less than heroic. For like Columbus, I can swim through international waters, through the sea, ocean, and endless waves. Like astronauts, I can smile and even sing through a dark story, through threatening, perilous voyages. Like zombies of the world, I can rise through scars from working 12 to 14 hour days, through memories of being rejected, cast out, and shot. The world may proclaim I am only a refugee, but I know that we are nothing less than heroic. <laughs> yeah! 
I wrote this poem for those like me who were brought into this world with a unique identity, whether it be a refugee background, an Asian background, a biracial background, an adoptee background. I wrote it for the huge family I come from. I have 26 cousins. I know, some of them are actually right there. <laughs> and I'm one of the oldest. So oftentimes I find myself in a room at family gatherings taking care of them. They tell me the most hilarious things from playground drama to the relationships that they're in. But every now and then, one of them brings up something along the lines of, I wish I were more American, or I wish my parents spoke correctly. But I always respond with the stories of our family and I always emphasize how cool they are because I've come to understand the role that loving yourself plays in your self-image, confidence, and ambition. Hey, bet you, hey, bet you didn't know that your mom lied to Viet Cong when they were searching for your grandpa or that your dad helped fight off Thai pirates. Sure, we're kids of refugees, but let me tell you, Underneath those bruised wrists and tired eyes are navigators, inventors, and warriors, heroes with titanium-plated spines, and wills as strong as the world. Don't you forget that. I'm here at this rally because one day, my younger brother will walk the halls that I walk. My little cousins will walk the halls that I walk. And when he does, they do, I want those walls to radiate with acceptance, support, and celebration of uniqueness. I want kids like me to see their background as something to be proud of, not something to erase. Being Asian, being Vietnamese, being Laotian, being anything is something to be proud of and not something to erase. So, if you're Asian, I hope you join me in being unapologetically so. Wear your traditional clothing. Pass on your family stories. Remember where you come from. It makes you so cool and so amazing. Don't you forget that. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. See, are you not inspired? Because we have a generation of future leaders who are coming and they're ready to change the world. So you can stay where you are which is stuck and stupid, or you can move into a brighter future, which is inclusive and a better tomorrow for everyone. So now I'm going to ask Reverend Hammond 